Hello guys, welcome to Achieve IS. My name is Ayush Mithi. In this video, we will decode current affairs and main shots from PM Modi's address at the inauguration of India Energy Forum. Uh, you will find uh, important current affairs and uh, uh, main shots from the PM's speech. He was uh, speaking at uh, India Energy. It was actually the fourth edition of the India Energy Forum. It was organized by Sera Week. Uh, Sera Week uh, it is a British firm. Uh, it uh, involves in energy research, consulting, and uh, it is known for its critical knowledge and independent analysis. Now it was the fourth edition of India Energy Forum. Let us move further. The theme of this year was India energy future in the world of change. The This was the theme and you should note it down. Now there were uh, the energy sector is uh, facing too many challenges. What are these challenges? These are very important for your means. Please note it down. Energy demand fell by almost one third. Uh, there has been price inst instability, investment decisions have been impacted, contraction in global energy demand over the next few years also, this is the projection, this is the estimation, but still these agencies uh, provide a optimistic review of India because they project India to emerge as a leading energy consumer. India is also set to nearly double its energy consumption over the long term. These points can help you to fetch good marks in your means answers by or you can also give credit to the PM Modi. Now uh, there are many areas in which we can see this vibrancy for example the aviation sector. Uh, PM Modi said that uh, in India is the third largest and fastest growing aviation mark in terms of domestic aviation third largest and fastest growing aviation market we are going to increase our uh, fleet size from uh, 600 to 1200 by 2024 that's a big jump okay friends uh, india believes that access to energy must be affordable and reliable please note that and uh, this uh, uh, this reforms this growth in uh, uh, energy sector also empowers people and further ease of living India achieved 100% uh, electrification okay LPG coverage increased LPG coverage increased it helped our rural areas middle class and women of India now you can see these points are very important uh, the one of the most important uh, line uh, uh, said by PM Modi was that uh, our energy sector will be growth centric industry friendly and environmental conscious he addressed all the key demands in the one line so you need to note it down our energy sector should be growth centric industry friendly and environment consciousness please note it down also he told about the achievements of india in the last six years like uh, we have distributed millions of led bulbs uh, we have also crores of uh, smart led smart led uh, street lights were installed uh, it uh, helped people to save crores of money 24,000 crore rupees was saved annually so you need to note it down hmm. also he said that our aim is to increase the renewable energy install capacity by 175 gigawatt by 2022 moving further he also said that we have extended this goal to 450 gigawatt by 2030 
both these goals are important for india please note them down you have to mention these goals whenever asked about the energy sector in the question uh, india has one of the lowest carbon emissions in the uh, than the rest of the industrialized world that's important uh, he also so, uh, said that energy sector has seen many path breaking reforms like uh, we have new uh, exploration policies okay uh, guys you have to search about the new uh, uh, gas exploration policies which includes help hydrogen exploration policies and uh, 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 you have to just note them down and makes and you have to make notes of it because they are very important help nelp a new exploration licensing policy hydro hydrogen uh, hydrocarbon exploration licensing policy these policies are very important for the uh, our natural gas sectors so please note that down note them down and please make notes of it now moving further uh, we plan to grow our refining capacities from 250 to 400 million metric tons per annum by 2025 these are the goals and when you mention the goals in your mains answers it helps you to fetch good marks we have to work towards transparent and flexible markets for both oil and gas moving further uh, now this is the most important point in his speech uh, he said that he has announced natural gas marketing reforms earlier this month uh, it includes uh, sale of natural gas through e bidding by india's first automated national level gas trading platform launched in june this year now he is talking about indian gas exchange IGX let me repeat it Indian Gas Exchange is the first gas exchange of India uh, it is a digital trading platform both buyers and sellers of natural gas can trade in uh, both in spot market and forward market for imported natural gas please keep this in mind they can trade in imported natural gas already we have developed three hubs for it but domestically produced natural gas will not be sold in it because the price of domestically produced natural gas is decided by the government and uh, in this indian gas exchange which is our first digital trading platform for natural gas we are trading for imported natural gas so the price of imported natural gas will surely determined by the uh, demand and supply forces that's where you should note it down he also talked about atmanirbhar bharat and uh, he strategized the uh, uh, energy security uh, importance and uh, he also stressed upon india's neighborhood first policy in which uh, we are developing energy corridors with our neighboring countries for mutual benefit now this the the line is very important for your uh, foreign policy uh, neighborhood first policy and uh, for the questions of energy sector and what not that's the most important line you should note it down that we are developing energy corridors for our neighbor countries uh, for mutual benefit all these points can be uh, noted down uh, in your mains answers now we will talk about the drivers of change in our energy map in our energy map uh, the pm pm modi said that we have seven driving forces one of them is accelerating our force to move towards a gas based economy cleaner user of fossil fuels particularly petroleum and coal great reliance on domestic sources to drive biofuels now that's about uh, atmanirbhar bharat uh, achieving renewable targets of 450 gigawatt by 2030 increasing the contribution of electricity to decarbonize mobility moving into the emerging fuels into including hydrogen that's also our new hydrogen exploration policy digital innovation okay uh, so the the these seven are the key drivers of our energy sector 
प्लीज नोट दैम डाउन ऑल दीज पॉइंट्स कैन यू ऑल दीज पॉइंट्स यू कैन मैंशन इन योर आंसर बाय ऑल्सो रेफरिंग टू द पी एम मोदी इंडिया एनर्जी फोरम सी आर ए वीक इज सर्विंग एन इम्पोर्टेंट इंपॉर्टेंट प्लेटफॉर्म बिटवीन इंडिया इंडस्ट्री गवर्नमेंट एंड सोसाइटी ओके नाउ इट वॉज द लास्ट एड्रेस बाय द पी एम मोदी इन इज स्पीच ओके ओके दिस वॉज द वीडियो गाइज यू हैव टू ऑल्सो रिमेंबर अबाउट वन सन वन ग्रेड इनिशिएटिव बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इट वॉज प्रपोज बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ न्यू एंड रिनेबल एनर्जी इन विच वी विल कनेक्ट अवर बाउंड्रीज और इन विच वी विल कनेक्ट सोलर प्रोड्यूसिंग कंट्रीज टू ईच अदर सो दैट एनी डेफिशिट रीजन इन द सोलर पावर can be uh, can get the required capacity through surplus regions so one sun one grid one world initiative is very important by ministry of renewable energy also in this video we have talked about indian gas exchange i g x please remember about it india's first gas exchange digital trading platform for imported natural gas not for domestically produced natural gas because the price of domestically natural produced natural gas uh, is decided by the government so guys this was the end of the video thanks for watching jai hind god bless you all